art as NFT is a stupid fad that will wear off in time. The real value of NFT is in digital artwork. It is in proving chain of custody. Your house deed, your car title, your Rolex certificate of authenticity, document that accompany physical assets are far more interesting use case. I wouldn't agree with this guy saying that art in NFT is a fad. I think it's a really good entry point for NFT to make it more accessible for a lot of people. But I would agree with this guy saying that using NFT for any kind of certifications, degree, uh, sets, your car license even, maybe there is more use to it. Why are NFT so ugly? Like if you are going to destroy the planet, why not make pleasing art? Not all NFT is ugly. It's just that based on what you see or what you consume, art is very, very subjective. So if you would want to see beautiful art, either you create a really nice beautiful art or you buy a really nice beautiful art. Cryptocurrency is a speculative asset which has zero underlying value. It is a pyramid scheme based on upselling to a bigger sucker in the future. The pyramid scheme can, can exist anywhere. If you just sell water, you can make a pyramid scheme of it. Cryptocurrency is not a pyramid scheme, but people can create pyramid scheme out of crypto. Hi, I'm Shakir. I'm the co-founder of Filament and also DAG. As far as I know, it's the first digital art gallery in Malaysia. And this is my expert opinion. NFT is a universal certification to authenticate that the, that asset is actually belong to you specifically and it's unique to you. It opens up a lot of potential and possibility. How a lot of us consume art is through traditional medium. So we've seen painting, we've seen sculpture and so on. But appreciating something digital before this is just through your screen. Now, you, whatever you see on your screen, whatever you see on the LED board or projection, you cannot own it. NFT in Malaysia, we are uh, going forward quite quickly. It gives a re really big growth for, for our local art scene. Previously, for you to be able to exhibit outside Malaysia, it involved a lot of years of networking, years of practicing and so on. But now, because of digital art, it's so easy to transport. There is no logistic. So Malaysian artists like uh, Red Hongyi, Cartoon, there is VC art. Her work has been bought by Snoop Dogg, Mumu, who do something together with Max Sinoda. The value went up mainly because now there is a way for them to gain more crypto without having to just buy using their fiat currency. Now they can actually buy an artwork or an asset and then resell it on a much higher value within uh, blockchain using their, their cryptocurrency. Uh, one of my friends who used to practice the uh, physical art, he's a street artist late Okibal. Um, he, he was struggling to, to make sure that he can actually gain enough money to provide for his family. But he then used whatever he create using NFT to sell the work. It then helped him to you know sustain his family. That kind of story I think is more meaningful. Um, even though he didn't sell like millions of worth of one artwork, but he did sell a lot of artwork. It, that shows how NFT is sustainable for a lot of artists. There is a lot of artists that trying to actually use NFT as method for them to sell their work on digital platform, like digital artists. On the other hand, there is people who just want to bang into it. I think at one point, it will balance out because a lot of things, it's, it's all hyped out because of the brand, the value, some celebrity buy it and so on. For a much more sustainable practice, for a lot of artists out there, those who really use NFT to sell their work digitally can then sustain within the space itself compared to people who just want to create something and make a bar out, out of it. What people perceive NFT right now is just all NFT is art. NFT is not only art. Art is a really good entry point. We use that as, as a bridge for us to understand the technology, for us to understand the ecosystem and so on. NFT, they are not mutually interchangeable, which is different from fungible assets. Fungible assets is something like you are transacting one dollar with a piece of gold. NFT, which are based on uh, decentralized finance, in which assets and market players act on a person-to-person -person basis. We eliminate the involvement of intermediaries. 
we can see that blockchain application nowadays go far beyond cryptocurrency. The technology is impacting a variety of sectors in ways that range from how contracts are enforced to making government work more efficient. There are so many real-world blockchain use cases. This include a secure sharing of medical data, personal identity security, anti-money laundering tracking system, supply chain and logistic monitoring, voting mechanisms, real estate processing platform. For Malaysia, although we don't have a reputation for blockchain within the global sphere, but what we may lack in advancement, we seem to be making up for in uniqueness, yeah, especially in Islamic blockchain. This include uh, zakat, wakaf, Recent uh, blockchain application in, in Malaysia include the co-launching of uh, digital vaccination certificates for COVID-19 vaccine recipients. Traceability in the palm oil industry by Malaysian Palm Oil Council. We heard about uh, how durian industry, food, food industries, uh, the uniqueness of uh, have a digital uh, certification for durian and how they market it uh, overseas challenge when implementing blockchain is the acceptance, the readiness of the organization. That is where we need to raise awareness among the users first. When we first bring the, uh, blockchain to UKM, we do a lot of webinars, invite industry experts to give talks. And once they understand it, uh, it's easier to bring ideas or new technology. The comparison between dot-com boom and also NFT hype right now, um, it's pretty similar. We've been living so long in Web2 right now. We'll then adapt Web3 and adapt blockchain, adapt cryptocurrency, adapt NFT. There is a lot of uh, room for innovation. A lot of people already see the potential of it. It's just that how can we make it more accessible for a lot more people? Because it needs to go hand in hand. Like whatever happened in the digital world will then affect whatever we have in physical world. Better devices, more accessible to internet. There is still a lot of people cannot access internet with certain speed. There's not a lot of people who then move into Web3. When we wanted to do our digital eye gallery, the first hurdle that we face is how we can sustain the space without asking people to pay because it was pre-NFT. The artists themselves, they can actually now sell the artwork on NFT. 